Welcome back to another edition of Guess That Air Rifle Blindfolded. Today, we're going to be doing... Matt, what are we doing? Air rifles. Air rifles. Let's see how this goes. Oh, snikes. So, air safety there. Thin grip. Get us the brake barrel. Okay, so I know it's a brake barrel. I know it's a Y rack. Probably a Beeman R7. It's very small. What if you handed me an Avenger and I didn't get it? Okay, globe sight. Woodstock, Woodstock. Oh, this feels like a viral. Warrock. Yes. All right. We know it's a rifle. That's good. It's a brake barrel with open sights. Come on. Seriously? A brake barrel? How many of them are out there? Checkered, receiver checkered, hand grip. Rear aperture. Uh, because of the light cocking effort i'm gonna say beam in r7 nope. what i think the h the r7s have this better checkering on it beam in r7 i'm going with that hw30 <laughs> no hw50 oh it feels smaller to me mm -hmm. oh yeah feel that record trigger you see that? That's record trigger right there. That's that adjustment screw. Pretty tasty. Hmm. Are you an HW50? Are you an HW30? Oh man, she's tight. Oh. Spicy. Blindfolded. What up? Whoa, what is that? That right? Th th this is new. This, this, this. Why rock? HW50S. Final answer. Yep. Oh! Let's go. That feels good. Based on size and Monte Cristo. It's a Beeman R7 or a Weichrauch HW30, but no, it's not a Beeman R7. It is an HW30 or an HW50. HW30. Mm, so close. HW50? Yeah. God damn. Interesting stock. Oh! Oh! I feel like a gamo, but it's got a rib on it. It's got. <laughs> this is easy. Hi, gamo. How are you today? <laughs> Plastic stock, ventilated rib. I think I might know this. I fill a ribbing. Ah, it's got the shot. This is, oh, who makes it? This is a Gamo, uh, Gamo, it's the Gamo shotgun. Oh, what do they call it, this Gamo shotgun? Um. Something Express. They had the Shadow Express, and I don't know what they call it today. Um, the Viper. Viper Express. It's the Gamo Viper Express air shotgun with yes. Yes. 22 caliber pellet insert. Take this away from me. Gamo Varmint Express shotgun. Ooh, it's, mm. What? Wait. Mm. That's the only Gamo shotgun we have, and that exists. And it's called 
Gamma Varmint Express or Gamma Viper Express. Okay, now I can give it to you. Viper Express, whatever. <laughs> Oh, that's light. Okay. All right. I got some AR-15 business. Wait. What a bunch of dummies. Mm -hmm. you, you're not handing me airsoft guns, are you? No. Okay. There's no airsoft guns. Mm-hmm. Well, I want to say... Mm, interesting magazine. Oh, that's because it doesn't... Oh, I think I might not... Okay, so it's got adjustable... Okay, this is the, uh, the Crossman M4 177 multi-pump. Yep. Ha-ha! Uh, I pumped it, so... This is a um, Crossman, what do they call it? Uh, <laughs> um, the M4177. They had changed the name of it a couple times when it first came out for some reason. But and it's got that magazine that goes right here. Yep. Oh, okay. Uh huh. Yeah, uh, Crossman M4177. Yes. Thank you, I know. <laughs> We're going to have to do this again, but you're going to have to make it challenging. <laughs> it's not. Nope, that's not a Hellboy. This is a um, plasticky. Crossman M4177. Ooh, good, good, yes, right there. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, she's heavy. Rubber tabs. Back safety on the top of the receiver. That's, that's a hot sign thing to do. Uh, it'd be hard to say which model it is, but... Oh, jeez. Of anything, it's a hot sign for sure. Oh, okay, 125, 135. Which one are you today? Ooh, heavy. And a brake barrel again. Open sights. Reminiscent of something. Weird feel to the stock. Uh, interesting checkering. It is a hot sun. It has to be a hot sun. Yeah. I know it's a hat sand. This is the... Did, oh, is it the 124 carnivore? You're close. 125. 125 sniper. Ooh, close. But I still got it with hats in, right? I know it's a hot sign from the safety and the the sling swivel, the muzzle brake. Go 125. Yeah, actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They have some that are similar, I know, but I know the, the 125 was the first and foremost that came out, so that's like the original. Oh, you know, I suppose it could be that 130 now, couldn't it? I don't know if that has those rubber insert things. That's a pretty large hole. I'm not going to cock it because I don't want to give myself a hernia. And yes, folks, I'm aware that what I'm doing is dangerous. Mm -hmm. It's a 22 or 25 probably. Wait, hang on. All right, so it's, I think it's a metal spring gun, not a vortex ram. One more time for that. Mm. 
Sounds like a goat. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it has the grippy grips here. I don't think the 130 has that. I am going to say Hatsan 125 QE, not the Vortex version. And this is not the TH, the thumbhole version, so. Oh, the Sniper. It's the Sniper, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, Mr. Specifics. But which Hatsan? <laughs> All right, it's a Hatsan 125. Did I guess it? Yeah. Yes! Wow, I'm impressed. Thanks for joining us. Hope you guys enjoyed the video today as we guessed air rifles blindfolded. I still think I'm in the lead. Matt, am I still in the lead? I don't know. I think I'm still in the lead. Whatever. You guys let us know who's winning down in the comments if you're keeping track. We appreciate it a ton for you watching. And if you're not subscribed already, please do so. Keeps us going. Helps us fight off the YouTube uh, algorithm madness. And as always, we'll see you next time.